Hi everyone, this is Nightfighter22 here. I hope you guys are all well. Uh, and welcome to the next uh, tactics video in the series. Today we're going to be looking at a tactic known as the decoy. Now basically what the decoy is, it's putting a piece, uh, putting a useful attacking piece into place, um, which isn't necessarily defended, uh, but it all relies on temptation. Uh, for your opponent and if your opponent is tempted and goes ahead and takes that material because it's causing them a significant problem Then you can go ahead and do some much worse damage. I usually see this in blitz games I'd say because of the whole time pressure and greedy for material thing and in you know players rated from about 1100 to 1700 is the norm for this sort of stuff so an example of this I've set it up for you is when black goes ahead and plays knight 2 g3 now what happens in this position is you'll notice that the rook is completely trapped, uh, but this knight is undefended for the taking. So what a white player might do in this position, you know, if they're pushed for time, or if they just simply don't see too far ahead in the position, they're thinking, oh god, this rook is under attack, and he's going to win, uh, is they might go ahead and play queen takes g3. But of course, because they've been so quick and greedy for material, you didn't see what they've lined up for you. So what you've done is you've effectively lined it up with bishop to h4. And what this is, is, is this is another tactic actually, this is called a pin. And basically what happens is the queen can't move, because if she moves then the king is lost. So what will effectively happen is something like this, and you can go ahead and win the queen. Uh, yeah, so basically, yeah, that was the decoy tactic, obviously setting something up. I hope you guys found the video useful, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye everyone.